Hello and welcome to another update video about Algorand. Um, yeah, here we are now at a key decision point. So with Algorand from the low, which was here at basically 27.7 cents, yeah, we moved up in what, you know, again, this is one of the counts where we have a bullish and a bearish count. You just need to understand that the market has these two possibilities and you need to understand at which point does each scenario get more likely to understand the risk and the possible reward if you decide to trade this. Personally, for me, this is not a coin to trade at the moment. Um, it's just far too uncertain. There are clearer coins, better coins, but of course, you know, there are potentials here as well, and we want to understand them. Um, the bullish count is highlighted here in, in um, let me make that a different color, actually. So this is actually the bearish count. So I'll give it another color, maybe the red count. Yeah. So the red count is the bearish count. White and green are the bullish counts. So if we look at this and say, okay, in white here, we had a five wave move to the upside from the low, where we peaked at around 38 cents. Um, this was then a wave one in a diagonal pattern, a leading diagonal pattern. We came down a little bit too much in a wave two, but still, you know, we were holding the previous low. So from a technical point of view, you could say the low could have been in, in a three wave move, that's fine. The wave two could have been in here and we might be moving up in a wave three now. Okay, so this year would be technically if we count it bullish. Let me move the um, let me move the bearish count aside for a moment. I actually put on here that the bullish scenario is not very likely because we retraced a little bit too much. It's always when you retrace more than the 78.6% FIB level, it's not great. We did retrace actually even more than the 88.7, which is again not very good. Yes, we did recover, but still it makes the whole thing a little bit less likely. And then on top of that. You know, if we wanted to count now this as the beginning of a wave three, I can give you a target for that as well, but it, it is not, not high confidence at the moment. So if we measure that as a target for that wave three, we'd be expecting the 1.618 extension at 46 cents. That would be the ideal target, 46 cents for a wave three. Um, I can see that in a very bullish environment, yes but not just like that. I think at the moment it's just hovering, it's just trolling support too much. But again, you know, it's possible. So there is a possibility to count this move up as a five wave move. We can count this as a leading diagonal again. Then we would have a wave one here. Again, a leading expanding diagonal is a problematic pattern anyway, especially if we have this as a diagonal and then the wave one of the wave three as well as a diagonal, especially an expanding diagonal, which is really rare anyway. So I'll make that now the white count here as well. This is how it would need to play out. So we would need to hold obviously the low here, the, the 29 cent level, which is the wave two low. Um, in the next instance, we would need to break above 33 cents for confirmation, then we'd need to take out 38 cents. And um, if we measure now and say, okay, wave three in white, where would that need to go? Basically to just below 38 cents. So it would need to be something like that. And then the wave five should go to somewhere around 46 cents, ideally. And then we have much more confirmation. It's looking much better. However, if we if we lose now the 29 cent level, then I think it's going to get very likely that the red count is playing out here as a wave one down. Yeah, uh, it's possible even to count that as an impulse. And this year, because it's a diagonal pattern, you can count correctively as well. And then we'd be moving down already in a wave three. So this is actually, I mean, I don't want to say it's my preferred scenario. It doesn't really matter what my preferred scenario is. Key is which levels are going to break. So below 29 cents, the red count becomes, uh, comes into force here. Yeah. And um, is going to, to be the boss and above 33 cents. I think we're looking more at the white count. Yeah. So at the moment it could be that we've done a wave one here already in the wave three in red. And we're now moving up in the wave two of the red wave three and would have a strong sell off next. So it will be interesting how this is going to play out. Um, target for the wave three in red, I can give you as well. So let's see, we can already make some assumptions where the wave five is going to end, which could be actually a 2.618 extension. Well, that is a textbook target. That would be a five cent algorithm. Now I'm not suggesting this is accurate. Um, this is basically the textbook target. Um, I, you know, it could also unfold as a diagonal where it might not be that bearish. Um, important to understand is that I previously put key support levels on here, 22 cents. But if I look at the length of the red wave one, I don't think the 22 cent level will mark the end of the bear market. The 10 cent level might be much more accurate here. 
yeah, which we have down here. So let's see, but um, I gave you the key levels. These are of high relevance for the further development of the Algorand price chart. Okay, and that's my update about Algo. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.